What's up guys, I'm Harigama and welcome to an update video. Now as some of you may know, my current Pokemon series has ended and now is the time to start up another Pokemon series for my channel. And I'm just going to announce it right now. It's going to be a Pokemon Sacred Gold Egg Lock. Now I've never done this challenge before, but I'm extremely excited to start this up. However, this series can only be successful with the help and support from you guys right now. So even if you don't play or know Pokemon, like you watch my videos for Minecraft or other series, you can still contribute to helping this next series and you can even be featured on it. Well, if you're wondering how that's going to happen, make sure to watch this whole video because I'm going to walk you through the steps in order to help you contribute to this egg lock. First of all though, to sum up an egg lock, it's basically a Nuzlocke challenge, but each first encounter that I catch in every route has to be swapped out for an egg. And where those eggs come from, I get those eggs from you guys that you send me. So uh, more details about those rules will be in the description if you want to read over them. And I'll even go over it more specifically during the first episode of this series. But anyway, now let me, guys, let me tell you guys how you can send one of these eggs to see on my next series. First of all, if you don't already have Pokegen, go into the description and click on the download link for Pokegen. Once you download it, extract all the files onto your computer. Once you've done that, you should see a folder that looks like this that has Pokegen full. But anyway, you open that folder and you're going to go ahead and open up the application for Pokegen. And if you need to run it, click on run and then you should have this little box open right here. So once you have this uh, application open for this is Pokegen right here. The first thing you absolutely must do, make sure to go into your options first, hover over target game and click on heart gold soul silver. You need to do that first to make sure uh, it's, you're sending to the right game and even double check to see if there's a check mark next to heart gold soul silver, which it, there is. So there's that. And then so the second thing that you must do is towards the bottom over here where it says egg, make sure that that box is checked. And then so once you've done that, those two things, then you're ready to have some fun sending me whatever Pokemon you want. But however, to send an egg, there's a few rules they have to follow. Uh, number one is that I only want the first stage evolution of a Pokemon. And then number two is that I only want legit moves on that Pokemon. Like only level one moves and egg moves only. Everything else, I'll go over that uh, in a little bit. So I, yeah, basically I do not want like Magikarp with Roar Time or anything like that. So yeah, let me go over the... Let me go over everything right now if you are new to Pokemon or don't know how to send or anything like that. So uh, if you're not sure whether a Pokemon has a first stage evolution, I linked a Pokedex in the description to help you with that. If you don't want to use your own Pokedex, that's fine, but this is the one that I use. I'm going to pull it up. It is the Pokemon database. And so uh, this, this has a list of all the Pokemon in it. So uh, you can go to the Pokedex and you can go to all Pokemon. And then loads up all the Pokemon that you can choose from. This game that I'm playing is in 4th gen. So you can only choose from 4th generation Pokemon. So basically the Pokemon like here at the way bottom. Those are the ones you can't choose from. For example if you like want to choose like Gothita. And you go over here and type in Gothita. There's no. You're not going to get it. That's how you know it's not in the game. So yeah from here you can see which Pokemon is a first stage evolution. So uh. For example, say you want to send me an Electivire, like that's your favorite Pokemon. You, you could search up Electivire right here, right? You can click on it, pull up its page, and it has all the information. You're going to go down to Evolution Chart, and you can see its evolution. So Electivire is a final stage evolution, and you see that Elekid is the first stage evolution. So that means you're going to send the Elekid, and then you'll send it to me, and then I'll evolve into Electivire on my own. Because, yeah, I only want first stage evolutions because I want to evolve the Pokemon on my own in the game. Because that's a part of the game and makes it exciting. So if you want to send Electivire, go ahead and uh, look at it. You see that Ele Elekid is the first stage evolution. So you can go in to Pokegen on the species. Uh, you go ahead and type in Elekid. Select it. And there you go. And if you want a nickname, you can click on the nickname. Uh, you can type in anything that you want. Buzzed. And then make sure if you want the nickname to appear, make sure to click that. To check that box that's next to, nick next to nickname. All right, so for experience, leave it at zero. Level, leave it at one. Uh, nature, you can choose any nature you want. Uh, it can be a bad nature, good nature, whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to put it at modest for now just for an example. Held item, you can choose any item that you want. It could be a TM, a rare candy, master ball, anything that you want from this list you can choose. So uh, if you want, I'll just choose TM40. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Hey, I got swagger. Is it TM87? <laughs> All right, anyway. Okay, so... If this if happiness isn't at zero already make sure to change it to zero because I'll uh, make the eggs hatch very fast whenever you send it to me so I don't have to wait a long time to hatch an egg so make sure happiness is at zero 
the ability uh you can go ahead and click go into the pokemon the pokedex for elekid pull up its information and at abilities you can see two of its abilities static and vital spirit you can choose i mean you can choose any of the ability as long as it's legit on this page you can choose that ability but if you don't really want to mess with what mess with it you can leave it blank and then it'll just give it the default ability which would be like static for elekid and so once you've done that leave this out one uh the form don't mess with that at all even for any other pokemon the country you can i mean it doesn't really matter you could just leave it there the origin it doesn't matter either if you want you can just put hard gold <laughs> i don't even know shiny leaf you can just leave it at none i don't even know what that does to be honest and so for this is the gender right here you can choose male or female you can just leave it at male and just make sure double check that the egg is checked on this box and then if you want to send a shiny uh you can go ahead and check that on or you can leave it off but i don't think uh i don't think it works whenever you send an egg though so i don't think the shiny matters now that you got your pokemon selected that you want to send me you can go to your go to the next tab which is met and uh the game sh make sure sh uh, make sure the game is heart gold soul silver once again and then you can choose any location that you want uh let's just burn tower there's a location uh, you can choose any ball that you want it to come in. I don't even know. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and change the level to one if you want. The date you can change to anything you want. And the encounter. Uh, go ahead and put it in as an egg slash pal park slash event. And all that stuff. And uh, you can choose to check on or off fateful encounter. But make sure that as egg is still checked in the box. Okay, so now it's, once you uh, did all that stuff, you can go over to the stats. And this doesn't really matter either. You can manually manually put in the IVs and EVs for this or you can just hit randomize IVs and randomize EVs and you'll be done right there <laughs> it's honestly up to you okay so here are the attacks this is the one of the next like really important things that you should know so once you're up you're sending an elekid you have its page up and everything scroll down and uh, go to your fourth generation fourth generation and click on heart gold soul silver and then so from here these are the only moves that you can allow elekid to know only the level one moves so he so right here the moves learned by level up only the level one moves so he can only you can only put leer and quick attack so you can go in here put leer and then quick attack if you want you can cho only choose those moves or you can go down to egg moves and you can choose any of these moves that are under here so if you want if you want this uh, elekid to be freaking op you can go ahead and put in like fire punch which is right here you can put in like ice punch and you don't even have to have like both the level one moves you can just like choose you, you can choose like all egg moves to put on here so like leer is a useless move so you can go in and put like cross chop or something for elekid and this will be like an op <laughs> elekid right here and so yeah make sure it's only moves by level learned by level up the level one moves from it and then you can choose any of the egg moves anything else under that anything else just no don't don't send it <laughs> don't put it on the pokemon okay so after you've done that uh you can put pp ups i don't even care you can leave it at zero doesn't matter so it, the ot slash uh miscellaneous the original trainer uh i wouldn't mess with that just don't even worry about it <laughs> all right so anyway so now that just go ahead and double check make sure again that it's on hard gold soul silver and so now you can go ahead and save Pokemon from tabs and uh, whenever you save the file don't name it since like say you're sending this Elekid don't name it Elekid because uh, I'll this is the file that you're gonna send me and I'm gonna see the name of the file so uh, you can just like put egglock one egglock poke one or something I don't even know and then it should be good to go uh, I forgot where I egglock Pokemon one right there so that's this is going to be the file that you send me and th the way you send this file you're going to just go go ahead and email it to me i'll go ahead and put the email in the description and i'll put it on the screen right now the email is hari egglock at gmail.com that is h-a-r-i-e-g-g-l-o-c-k-e at gmail.com so you send out send that file and all that stuff and uh yeah so that's how you make an egg and you're, that's how you're gonna send it to me and uh, you can send as many eggs as you want as long as it follows the guidelines that I just gave you I'm not gonna limit one egg per person or anything like that so uh, yeah if you have time send as many eggs as you want 
like some good Pokemon, your favorite Pokemon, anything. And uh, so yeah, I hope, hope to see all the eggs that you guys send. And also don't send me trashy, useless Pokemon like unknown or something like that. Like send me at least good Pokemon that I can actually battle with and use. And uh, oh yeah, notice how I never said that you couldn't send legendaries. Yeah, like if you really wanted to, you can send your favorite legendary to me. I don't care as long as it's legit and follows like the guidelines as far as the move sets go. So yeah, that'll be it. I look forward to seeing the Pokemon that you guys will send, and I look forward to using them in my upcoming Sacred Gold Egglock challenge. Get hyped up for it, man! I'm hyped for it. Oh shoot. Okay, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to peck up that like button down below and all that good stuff. And uh, so I will see you over on the first episode of our next Pokemon series for our channel. So make sure to send the eggs to and email them to me and make sure they're all legit. And I look forward to seeing all the eggs once again. So anyways, until then, stay safe.